three people dead following a fire at a vacant building in Charlottetown, PEI. The pre-dawn fire broke out at a building that formerly housed a golf driving range. Charlottetown police say a man suffering burns told them of other people trapped inside, but they were held back by intense heat and smoke. Firefighters later discovered the remains of three people. The injured man is now being treated for burns at a hospital in Halifax. Wayne Thibodeau is the editor of Charlottetown's Guardian newspaper. Wayne, what do we know about the three people who died in this fire? Well, Brad, at this point in time, we don't know a lot. What we can say is that the area, as you said, a former driving range, was sort of used as a party house by a lot of teenagers that night and was also used for homeless uh, teenagers. Uh, it was uh, neighbors complained uh, in the past were told about noise. Uh, coming from the house, and the police have frequent the location on a few different times. So at this point in time, neighbors are saying they didn't hear anything unusual last night. That's, of course, until the fire was spotted. Uh, what do we know about the extent of the injuries, the fourth man now being treated for in Halifax, in a Halifax hospital? Exactly. What we're hearing from the scene is that the man actually made his way out onto the street, and that's where uh, passers-by seen him, and he was uh, screaming that there were others inside. By the time fire police and ambulance uh, officials arrived, uh, the, the smoke and the flames were just too thick for them to get inside. So as you said, three people died in that fire. The other one uh, is listed currently in uh, serious condition. And uh, of course, this is an area that for the past several years hosted what we call here the Jack Frost Festival, which was a huge children's festival on the grounds of the former driving range. So it is somewhat ironic and sad today that uh, three uh, young uh, people have died at the very same scene. Have authorities spoken yet of what they think likely caused this fire? At this stage, no. In fact, we're having a difficult time getting any of the authorities uh, to speak to us. They're still dealing uh, just moments ago. Coming back from the scene, the coroner is now on the scene and the bodies are being removed from the building. So no official word yet on the cause of the fire. Again, what we're hearing from the scene and from some of the people in the area is that there may have been a candle that was used for both light and heat in the building. The building itself was cut off from all electricity and that it may have been that candle that was the cause of the fire. And Wayne, finally, have authorities given you any indication as to when they will be able to publicly identify the victims? At this stage in time, no, but the Charlottetown Police Services are telling us there will be a briefing later today, so we hope to have more on this story at that time. Wayne Thibodeau, news editor for Charlottetown's Guardian newspaper. Mr. Thibodeau, thanks a lot for this. Thank you, Brian.